Good morning, Berry Can Bloom. Good morning, Strawberry Shortcake. What are you up to today? I'm creating ways to make flowers different sizes, both very big and very small. Even if you don't have a whole lot of room, you can still have plenty of flowers in bloom. <laughs> That's a very clever idea. Strawberry? It certainly is a fine morning to enjoy the flowers. Oh, well, I'm not just enjoying them. I'm going to make a new perfume with pieces of the petals. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. But it's going to be part of my new spring fashion line, my very best ever. So I want it to be really super special. Well, with all these flowers to choose from, you should have something really special in no time. Goodbye. Today. But Quilting Club is your favorite. Is something wrong? Yeah. This. I promised the princess I'd make waiters for all the Berrykins for their annual jam stomping. Dozens and dozens of them. And I thought it would be easy because the Berrykins are so small. But it turns out making something so small is actually so hard. You see, to make them watertight, they need little itty bitty teensy weensy stitches. Too tiny for my sewing machine. And they're so hard to see. Oh dear. Oh, that's too bad. Poor Raspberry. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, Raspberry. Oh. If only those bitty barricans were the same size as us, at least then I could see what I'm doing. Six dozen to go. Oh no. I could make them in no time if they didn't have to be so, so, so little. Ah! Hey, you know, if the berrykins were bigger, not only would this job be easier, but bigger berrykins could stop that much more jam. What's up? Okay, okay, everybody. They're too big, but I have just a way to make them fit perfectly. Just hold still while I. Oh, nice. Uh, did I smell bad or something? Oh, no. Uh, patience. Ooh. Now 
try the waiters on. Ta-da! Hey, I trust some of that. Why? <laughs> well, sure. Here you go.
mirror you used this morning? No. That one is over... here. <gasps> oh, Mary didn't sparkles. Well, I don't see anything. Too small for you to see, but not for me. Oh, so it wasn't just your growth spray and my perfume, but the sparkles too? It's a good thing you're so small, or we'd never have figured that out. Sparkles I can make, but I don't know how many it will take. This time for sure. works on a hat, but it might be best to try another test. Oh, we did it, we did it! Bacon Bloom and I found a way to shrink the bearkins back to normal! That's terrific! Great news! We knew you could do it! Way to go, Raspberry! Yay, Raspberry! We need lots of sparkles. to match the right kinds of sparkles. Let's try again. This time, blue goes first. Uh, you might want to sort of duck. run the berry works. And besides, I'm much too small to reach any of the flowers. That's not so. Even though we're bitty, we, we can do big things! Especially if some of the berrykins reach the flowers for you. Oh, I just thought of something. While we're running the berry works, who's gonna run our shops? Fruit salad, coming up as soon as I figure out how to make it. 
to change you just to make things easier for me. Oh, I ended up making things awful for all of Berry Bitty City. And now we'll mix another batch to change you and your friends back to normal. it is that everyone in Berry Bitty City is different from one another. Me too. Same here. Yep. So thanks to you and your potion, we actually found out what a big contribution the Berrykins make. No matter how small they are. And how much better they could run the Berry Works than we could. <laughs> <laughs> everyone has their own special contribution to make. No matter how big or small. The Berrykins have theirs. <laughs> and we have ours. I know you've had a busy day, but we still have to start jam tomorrow. Oh, and I did promise you Berrykin-sized waiters. Hmm, maybe I can get Berrykin Bloom to make me small again so I can... How about if we just help you make more waiters? <laughs>
We've got till dawn to find the source of this power outage. Let's get digging! Excuse me, Strawberry. Mm. Can you read this, please? I don't know if the most practical game for a nighttime campout is pick up sticks. <laughs> I thought it said trail mix. <laughs> I got the trail mix and the cereal, celery, soda crackers, wheat crackers, the crackers with pepper sprinkles, and cherry likes, firewood, playing cards, sunscreen, extra socks, bandages, sandwiches, hand sanitizer, trail mix. Oh, wait, I said trail mix. Mm. Um, apples, two dozen. Orange, this is just an overnight camp out. They'll have the power fixed by morning and we can move back into town. <laughs> Meanwhile, time to head for the peace and quiet been fun. Listen, I have an idea. Remember how much fun we had on our relay race and treasure hunt? Let's make the creepy woods into a challenge. We have three tents. Let's break into three groups and see which group is brave enough to camp out the longest. Ooh, I dare. I'm in. Me too. I love an adventure. Lemon, you and I can share a tent. We'll be team one. Tent Lemon Berry. Plum? Team Two Rocks. We'll be Tent Berry, Plummy, and Orangey. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry, Cherry, we're Team Three. Tent Berry Tough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is going to be so very fun. We'll show them what Team Three is made of. <laughs> well, okay. It's on. That should do it, Tom Tom. Thanks for helping. Well, let's get back on the road. Mm -hmm. What is it, boy? <laughs> you smell something? Oh, I know what you smell. <laughs> We're not far from Berry Bitty City. How about stopping by and visiting our friends there? I have a book I can return to Blueberry. Hope it's not too late to pop by. Mud pies. How'd we end up at this dead end? I must have turned the wrong way. It's so dark out here. I don't get it. I could see Berry Bitty City right in front of us. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't see it anymore. Hmm. Well, there's something over there. Oh, here's a trail. Let's see where it leads. Come on, Tom Tom. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> What's wrong, boy? You're not afraid of the dark, are you? It'll be an adventure. I've got snacks. <laughs> I think it will be fabulous fun to sleep under the stars. We don't need the tent unless... Unless what? You know, if uh, there might be, or like, if there might, if any kind of, well, if a sort of creepy kind of creature happened to be around. 
Now, we can't think like that or we'll never win the challenge. We're gonna be the bravest of the brave, are we not? Uh, sure, but some distraction would be nice. How about we sing a campfire song? It might hear us. It? Maybe we should turn out the light so it doesn't see us. Hey, what happened to that light? <clears throat> Don't worry, boy. We'll just follow this path. Uh, this is the life. It is. <gasps> Want to roast marshmallows? Okay, sure. Anything to take my mind off. Whatever might be out there. In the Help me find some sticks for the marshmallows. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Here's a good one. What did you say? Oh, strawberry. I'm certain I just saw a creepy creature pass by a minute ago. Are you certain? Uh, sort of certain. A creepy creature. Well, what did it look like? Well, I didn't really see it, I guess. Could it have been something else? Like, maybe still a creature, but not a creepy one? For example, could it have been a bunny rabbit? Oh! Yes, I suppose it could have been a creature that is not creepy, perhaps. Well then, let's get roasting! See? <laughs> Where did the marshmallows go? Hmm. Pupcake! Hannah! <laughs> did you take the marshmallows? <laughs> they didn't take them. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. Yeah. Weird! <laughs> Running out of juice. <laughs> But that's okay. More adventure in the dark. Snack time. Yay! Good one, Orange. I'm having a very good time. I'm actually not scared at all. Me neither. <laughs> mm. Oops. <laughs> I'll get it. Hey, where's Marmalade? Marmalade! <laughs> there you are. No wandering off, please. Where are you? Down here. Where to go? I don't know. It's like it just got swallowed up. Swallowed up? You know, disappeared. Swallowed up by what? Oh, I, I didn't mean it that way. But you said it. Y you must have had a reason, a, a feeling. No, it's just a way of saying went missing, you know. I didn't mean I really thought something actually, you know, ate our horseshoe. I mean, who would eat a horseshoe anyway? Hmm. A creepy creature, that's who. How do you know creepy creatures don't love horseshoes? <laughs> that's so silly. I know. <laughs> did, did, did you hear that? Sounds like something eating a horseshoe. Mm. <laughs> Those are good. Where is Blue Bandit? I think she's to the right of her flag. Maybe one of us should go back and guard our flag. That's not, I mean, is that really fair? Because there's only one of her and two of us. She didn't say we couldn't split up. Okay, but I don't want to be alone. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Uh-huh. Hey, Blue Bandit is making a move for our flag. Let's get hers. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> we captured your, your flag. flag. I captured oh. your flag. Huh? Ah! It's a tie! I win!
was sure one of you was gonna ambush me over there on your side. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's do a tiebreaker. Definitely. Hot chocolate break first. Yum. Great idea. <laughs> Excuse me, Chiffon. Hot chocolate time. <laughs> to adventure. To bravery. To the wild outdoors. Ready for another game? Yup! Sure. Where are the flags? Guys, guys, calm down. I've gobbled our horseshoes. We gotta get out of here. It stole our flag. Right under our noses. It's too spooky out here. Someone or something is trying to sabotage our camp out. Well, let's calm down and just review the facts. Fact! Our horseshoes got eaten. Eaten? Well, they definitely disappeared. Our capture the flag flags disappeared also. Mm -hmm. And our marshmallows and roasting sticks did go missing too. Except this one. Ooh, just let that creepy creature try and take this one. <laughs> That's the spirit, Lemon. We may have a thief among us, but why should we let that spoil our camp out? Let's make it part of the challenge. Hmm. Staying out here with a creepy creature thief is challenge enough. I'm thinking instead of which team can stay out here the longest, which team can catch the culprit? Hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you catch a creepy creature horseshoe eater? Well... I guess it's up to your team. Hmm. <gasps> I've got it! <gasps> I know how to catch it! Shh! Lemon, what do you say? You're right, Strawberry. No one is gonna stop me from having a roasted marshmallow. <laughs> You're right, Lemon. Let's capture that marshmallow thief. trap. <laughs> Wouldn't that be embarrassing, getting caught in our own trap. <sighs> what is it? I forgot to give the other teams their thermoses of hot chocolate. I'm gonna go take it to them. That's nice of you. Want me to come with you? Well, who's gonna stay here with me? You have the puppies and a whole moat to guard you. It's okay, Cherry. I'll take Scouty. Come on, Scouty. Come on, boy. Walk. Go for a walk. Um, um. Drawbridge, milady. Why, thank you. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> you can do it, Scouty. Hmm. Let's check that out. Shh! I thought I heard something. <gasps> Somebody's following us! Ah, oh, my. 
Mod Pies. I don't hear the whistling anymore. Now which way do we go? Ah, let's get out of here. Let's take a walk and look around. Listen Hello there, to Cherry. The pretty sounds. Cherry. No strawberry. Don't come any. Strawberry. Hmm. Very clever. Wish we'd thought of this. Easier than digging a moat. It's the creepy creature. Girls! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you don't really think we're gonna catch something, do you? I brought you hot chocolate. <laughs> <gasps> they caught him! The creepy creature! Come on, Hannah! Careful. <laughs> Lemon! Careful of the string. Did you catch it? Maybe that's it. <gasps> Did you Where catch it? Where is it? We didn't catch anything but ourselves. <laughs> you got caught in your own trap? Yeah. What happened to you, Strawberry? I got caught in their moat. Huh. I feel shortchanged. We haven't caught anything at all. <gasps> Help! Help! Help me! Oh, great galloping gooseberries! <gasps> if I didn't know better, I'd say that sounded like... Huckleberry! What are you doing in our creature trap? Not much. What are you doing here? I was delivering pups for adoption, and I thought I'd stop by and say hi, and then the lights all went out and, well... <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> Having some juice power problems in Berry Bitty City. How about setting me free? I don't know. Have you been stealing our marshmallows? And our horseshoes? And our capture the flag flags? Huh? <laughs> okay, so here's my plan. We all pretend to go to sleep, and we leave Lemon Stick. And when the culprit steals it, we'll hear the bells and. This is so exciting! I don't know if I can pretend to be asleep. I'm so excited! People, people, remember our acting lessons. Just relax your faces. What? Where? Oh, hey, girls! Wake up! The stick! The stick! My marshmallow stick! Stop, thief! Wait, listen! What do you think it is? My, I hope it's not a creature that's too creepy. Hurry! It's getting away! It's heading for home! <laughs> Marmalade! What in the very bitty world are you doing? <gasps> Did you hear that sound? This is the source of our power problem. <laughs> Where you've been putting everything. <laughs> it was 
it's the fountain clog that bungled up the juice fairy power grid. Problem solved. Yeah! <laughs> Aw, I hope this doesn't mean the end of our camp out. Of course not. We haven't roasted marshmallows yet. <laughs> This is the greatest thing ever. It is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And here you go, Lemon. And thank you for the wonderful Glamacure. <sighs> this is the greatest beautification success I've ever had. <laughs> oh, uh, 
sorry, Mr. Longface. Here. Oh, it's just, um, uh, wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. And waterproof. <gasps> waterproof? Oh, is that so? Yeah, won't wash off, no matter how hard you scrub. <laughs> how lucky for us. <laughs> Music is nice here and there, but all day and all night? I can't think straight. Try dancing to two tunes at the same time. The one you're supposed to dance to, and the one coming from your glamicure. I think people aren't coming to the store as much because they're getting tired of the glamicure music. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Oh, maybe Raspberry and Blueberry can think of something. Idea. In the meantime, let's get out of here. So, what do we do now? I don't know. What can we do? You say you want a pan of stew? No, I said what can we do? Well, the first thing we can do is get rid of these earmuffs. They're almost as bad as the Glamicures. So, what do we do? Okay. Everybody hold your hands very still. <sighs> Look, we have to tell Lemon that these things just aren't working out. But how could we do that? She's so proud of them. I know. I've never seen her so thrilled about something. It would hurt her feelings to learn the truth. I'm not gonna be the one to tell her. If she found out that we don't like her glamicures, well, she, she, oh, she might stop giving manicures altogether. Why, she might even stop giving hair stylings. And she might not speak to us ever again. She might close the salon and move away. And it'd be our fault for being so cruel. You're yeah, right. Strawberry'd never do something like that. She's too considerate. Yeah, yeah that's you're true. Right. She's really yeah. nice with things I like do. this. I take back what I said about telling Lemon. I would go to the ends of the earth rather than hurt her feelings. I would go beyond the ends of the earth. Well, I would. Uh, I would. I would put up with my glamicure forever. Us too. And it's decided. We'll never tell them and her glamicures are driving us crazy. Right! It's a really simple step, Orange. Just do exactly what I do. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Three, one, two, three, four. 
One, three, two, seven, eight, nine! Oh! <sighs> if that isn't the signal for nap time, nothing is. for a picnic, but they haven't shown. That's odd. I wonder what happened. It seems as if Blueberry and Plum have been avoiding me, too. I wonder if they're mad at me. Mad at you? Maybe I did something wrong, or maybe they just don't like me anymore. I don't see how anyone couldn't like you. I know. How about if I do my pruning later, and I'll picnic with you? Oh, Strawberry, thank you. And then, when we're done, you could go by the other girls' places and ask them if everything's okay. Ask them? Oh, oh my, no. I couldn't do that. I know it's scary sometimes to ask difficult questions, but wouldn't you rather know the truth than imagine bad things? Oh, but what if the truth is something just terrible? Could it be more terrible than what you're already afraid of? Maybe they don't like me anymore? Well, uh... I guess you have a point. What if you ask them for me? Uh, I think it's better coming from you. More direct, you know? But I'll be happy to go with you if you'd like. I'll think about it. After our picnic. Sounds good. Hey, look! Strawberry had the same idea. <laughs> Gardening gloves. That's good. But isn't she afraid Lemon will catch on? Oh, 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 looks like she's taking them off. Oh, poor Strawberry. Such a kind soul to picnic with Lemon and endure that music. Oh, I feel so bad avoiding Lemon's invitation for a picnic. Uh, me too. But I just couldn't bear to listen to my glamicure. Be strong. We made a vow to live with our glamicures and not tell Lemon. No matter how tired we are, no matter how many picnics we have to miss. Deal? Deal. You're right, Strawberry. I have to talk to my friends. And now's as good a time as any. But you'll come along, right? Sure. Everything's just great. Oh, sorry about the picnic. Just got so busy in the store. Oh, I see. That's fine. Strawberry joined me. Uh, so is your glamicure working okay? Okay? Well, sure. Light's nice and bright? So bright you almost need sunglasses. <laughs> oh, good. Plenty of music? Ooh, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> well, thanks. I just wanted to see if everything was okay. As okay as an O and a K can be. Cookbook. Hi, Blueberry. Hi. Oh, uh, hi. Um, is this a bad time? Is everything okay, Blueberry? Okay. I couldn't 
couldn't be better. Why, I was just sorting books to the tune of my glamic here. See? Oh, good. I was just... Well, I haven't seen you in a couple of days. I just wanted to make sure I didn't do anything to... Well, you know, bother you? Bother me? Why, no, no! Okay, that's good. Well, I'll see you around then. Nice to see you, Lemon! Strawberry! <sighs> that was close. Bosley! <laughs> Everything okay, Raspberry? What are you making? Oh, just stuff. You know, stuff. Just, uh, trying my new over, under, through, and back stitch. <laughs> hey, did I mention how much I love my glamicure? Thanks, Plum. See you later. You were right. Everything is fine. I think. You think? Well, everyone said so, but I had a teeny tiny feeling that maybe something wasn't right. Huh. Oh well, it must have just been me. I guess. I'm just glad that you spoke to everyone. That took courage, Lemon. Thanks. Yeah, I do feel better. I guess. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Poor things. I'm sure you're wondering why I asked you here. I need your help with something. <gasps> Look! Strawberry? Where'd they go? What happened to your glamicure? Oh, it wasn't working out for me. It was a little too bright and distracting. <gasps> I know! I can't dance with it. I can't stack my shelves. I can't sleep. And it clashes with everything I wear. How did you get rid of it? We tried everything. Soap and water, ketchup and peanut butter. How did you do, do it? it? I just told Lemon how I felt, and she removed it. You told her? But, but, but is she all right? Oh, did it break her heart? Oh, Strawberry, how could you? I just figured that part of being a good friend is having the courage to give constructive criticism. You know, telling them the truth about something so they can do better the next time. And the other part is taking that criticism in a friendly way, <laughs> which Lemon did. She's fine. Oh, it was driving me crazy. I couldn't think straight. I wanted to hide my head under a pillow. I tried that. It didn't work. But we've been putting up with it because, well, so we wouldn't have to tell Lemon. We kind of avoided it. Completely. We even kind of avoided Lemon. I know. She told me. She was worried you might be upset with her. Oh, no. That's just awful. Poor Lemon. And she even dropped by today to make sure everything was okay between us. And I didn't tell her the truth. Well, there's only one thing to do. You'll just have to tell her. Could we? We... we won't make her feel... bad? You can't make her feel worse than you did by hiding from her. I guess. Yes, we should. We definitely better. I agree. We really ought to... Tell Lemon the truth! <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? You go. Now you go. After you. No, you. Wow, do you all need appointments right now? Come on. It's what friends do. It's the... Uh... The Glamicures. We kind of think they sort of aren't right for us. Not right? Stop it! Stop it! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing, but why? <laughs> I never, <laughs> I never realized how bothersome these glamicures could be. Whew. We didn't hurt.
hurt your feelings? Well, I'm disappointed they didn't work out, but I really wish you'd told me sooner. I mean, you're my friends. I'd rather you were honest with me. I'm sorry we weren't. I've got a great idea. New and improved Super Glamicures. Uh, super uh, Glamicures? Really? Uh, I don't um, know. Don't worry. I'll listen to any suggestions you have. Ooh, ooh, controllable colors. And a way to change the tune. Oh, a way to change the beat. A way to turn them off. Yeah. yeah. All great ideas. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the off switch. For the mail. <laughs> Marketplace all closed up? Yep, I did all the stuff you asked. Great, thank you. Guess we're all set to go as soon as the girls get here. Oh, I'm so excited to show you and Sweet and Sour how beautiful our countryside is. Your guys' first Berry Bitty City annual camp out. Uh, Strop, I think I've been on a few campouts in my day. <laughs> I know you have, Apple, but this is your first one with me. And that's very special to me. Oh, yeah, me too. What you got there? This is the perfect opportunity for me to film a camping video. I'm going to set up a link on my very best bits page. So, like a travel log? My night in the wilderness? Mm, not exactly. More like Apple's step-by-step -step guide on how to set up camp the right and proper Apple way. Sounds like a big project. No task is too big when it comes to teaching the world the science of camping in the outdoors. Sounds great, but you know, this camp out is for fun and friends, not work. So I hope you won't be too busy to have fun, too. Sour! Sweet! Are you ready? Hi, Apple. Where is everyone? I don't know if this great outdoors thing is gonna be so great. Sour, we haven't even left yet. That's the best time to rethink going somewhere. That's a sweet camera, Apple. <laughs> sweet, get it? <laughs> <laughs> that does look pretty pro. Shooting a big movie? Camping tutorial. Oh, wow, great idea. A movie all about us? Oh, a video of our camp out? Uh, no, actually, none of you are in it, just me. I'm gonna demonstrate in high definition, stop motion, time lapse photography how to set up a camp, the fine points of how to properly pitch a tent, the do's and don'ts of unrolling a sleeping bag, how to avoid the heartbreak of a cold cook stove, two hours packed with vital information every camper needs to know. Oh. Uh Two hours? And an extra half hour of exclusive bonus material. Camping tutorial, the making of. I need a cloth to clean this with. Do you have one, Strop? Sure, in the kitchen. Are we ever going? Somewhere out there is a poison ivy plant with my name on it. We're coming! Huh? Wait for us! <sighs> Sorry, we're late, Strawberry. Whew. Almost forgot the supplies Sweet asked for. No worries. So, Orange, you got marshmallows? Check. Cherry's got them in her pack. Girls, I'm so excited to make you my special s'more than s'mores recipe. It's regular s'mores, you know, graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate bar, with my unique twist, strawberry slices and shaved almond. Yum, says Plum. Neat, says Sweet. <laughs> Oh, nuts, says Orange. Uh, that doesn't rhyme. No, no, the almond. I think I left it on the counter in my store. I'll go with you. And chocolate milk. You can't have a campfire without hot chocolate. Plum's got it in her canteen. 
perfect. We'll heat it up on our campfire and then you all know what's next. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's next? We put the fire out? <sighs> it's one of our long-standing campout traditions. Tall tales. Tall tales? Yeah, we make up fun stories, like tales, like make-believe, and tell them around the campfire. Everyone gets a turn. The wilder, more outrageous, the better. Sounds outrageously thrilling. How about short tales, so we can get home sooner? <laughs> You're too funny, Sour. All ready. Are we good? Oh my god, we're all set. Let's do it. up with her. You do that. I'm gonna take a little break. <sighs> Have a good See break, you Cherry. Idea. Enjoy your rest, Cherry. <sighs> now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. Phew. You said it. Uh, guys? That isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? Uh, and isn't that almond supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Uh, well, but n no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? <sighs> We're here. About time. Very beautiful meadow, our old campground. What a gorgeous spot. Huh? Apple, wow, you're really going to town. The first part of assembling a tent is to lay out all your equipment in a neat and orderly manner. I'm so sorry, but this is the spot where we usually build the campfire. It is? And we set up all our sleeping bags just over there. And our cooking equipment here, near the campfire. Can I help you move your... set over to the edge of the meadow? That's okay, Strawberry. I want to keep it in a certain order, so I'll do it myself. You guys go ahead. Don't mind me. in the very bitty world has happened to Orange, Cherry, and Plum. Maybe they got smart and went home. Sour. So, where's the marshmallows? I've got my stick. Let's get roasting. That's for after dinner. And we can't start dinner until we find the other girls. I'll go back down the trail and look for them, Strawberry. Thanks, sweet. I'll come with you. <gasps> Cherry. Plum, Orange, where have you been? Are you all right? So sorry, Strawberry. Long story. You wouldn't even believe it. Try me. Well, I was just taking a little rest stop with Orange and Plum, just minding our own business, not bothering us all, when all of a sudden... <gasps> Catch 
going to be any shaved almonds for my s'more than s'mores? Come on, is that what really made you late? No, it's not. <gasps> Cherry's just trying to cover up for me. The truth is, it was all my fault. It was the canteen of chocolate milk. <laughs> like she said, we was about halfway up the trace, resting our dogs for a spell. Hey now, Plum. Ain't that for strawberries, hot chocolate? We're meant to save that for around the campfire. Ah, oh, dang, Nabbit, y'all are right. Must be off my rocker. Then I up and recollected I'd been hankering to show the gals a new dance routine I'd been working on. Hey now, look at here. Might come in handy next time we're high stepping at a square dance. <gasps> Sizzling sassafras! <laughs> oh, blusteration! It went down a crater hole. Boy, howdy. We're in for now. That strawberry's hot chocolate. Gotta get it back. We're with you, partner. Brisk up, gals. Here goes another. So, by gum, we clung down into that fire hole. Hold your horses now. Where'd that canteen get to? By all rights, should be right here. <gasps> well, there we was, down a hole without a coil. And then we heard something that made us wish we was anywhere but there. <gasps> hey, now. That canteen is iron, Buster. Gotta hand it over real friendly-like. Wouldn't you know it? That critter was skittish as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Balleration. Well, now the hair's in the butter. After that varmint! Easy now, boy. Easy. Keep him in the corral. Now, don't get his dander up. I'm gonna... He's on the prod, Plum. You best step lively. And I leapt up on him. Never have you seen such a catawumpus. Yeah! Ride him, Plum! Stick to your saddle. Rain him in! Get him, cowgirl! Woo! Yeah! Woo -woo. Well, I'm here to tell you, it was a rip-snorting ride. That varmint threw me and was about to head for the high horizon. We could see we had just as much a chance taking our loop back as catching a weasel asleep. But we made a fair shake in the end. What do you think there, partner? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, big fella. We love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> so... No almond shavings for my s'more than s'mores? <laughs> Come on. What really made you late? Okay, okay, here's the deal. Uh, it was really, uh, well, all my fault. The truth is... I put it to you, Orange. Might that be the very almond intended for sweet s'more than s'mores recipe? What? Well, indeed it is. Oh, whatever was I thinking, I shall squirrel it away, as they say, until an appropriate occasion calls forth the necessity to bring it out in the open. A hey, what? Well said, Orange. Well said. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Is that polite? 
cheeky fellow, Ewat. I say, fellow travellers, let's tarry no longer in this dreadful spot. Off we go. Beg pardon? Run! I must confess, I read like the very dickens. And who wouldn't, being chivied by a fiend, set on Pelonian Sweet's precious almond? I believe I have a strategy that I suspect might outwit this thieving rapscallion. Have you? Do tell. <laughs> I say, old girl, capital idea. like our tall tails? What tall tails? Wait a minute. Oh, no! Sweet, you weren't there! Wasn't where? This morning at the cafe when I explained about our tradition of telling tall tales. You went with Orange and... Oh, I'm sorry. Sweet. <laughs> it's something we always do for fun around the campfire. We make up outrageous stories. Oh. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought all those stories were real. <laughs> nah, it's all just silly stuff. <laughs> Plum and Cherry and I will get more kindling since we were late and couldn't help set up camp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm dying to know what really happened. What really took you so long? Oh, Strawberry. I don't know, it's it's just too embarrassing. Come on. Well, it's like this. You see, we just stopped to take a break. Now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. You said it. Uh, guys, that isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Uh, well, but no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? Hey, check it! My new dance routine! are so busted. No chocolate for strawberry? No marshmallows for sweets more than s'mores? I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. We better run back to my store. <laughs> Hurry, before someone sees us. Can't find my keys. Oh, here, hold this. Thank you. 
marshmallows. Check inside the storeroom? You got it. I found the marshmallows in the storeroom, but I tripped and knocked the door closed, and I couldn't get it opened. Hey! Get me out of here! Hold on, Plum. We'll catch you! Here! Whoa! Oh. Oh. Let's get out of here. Got everything? Canteen. Marshmallows. Check. Where's the almond? Inside. On the counter. Locked. Keys. Inside, on the counter, next to the almond. Aww. Now what do we do? We gotta get back. It's getting late and they'll be worried. Sorry, sweet. You're gonna have to do without the almond. And so, we ran back up here as fast as we could. <laughs> That's the best tall tale ever! <laughs> but unfortunately, it's true. Before the cafe opens. Hmm, guess it's a good morning to clean out the fridge. Oh, that's right. I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> hmm, clean the oven. Oh, forgot. <laughs> cleaned it the day before. Looks like I'm all out of things to do. Hey, Pupcake, think we should go strawberry shopping? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come back! Cupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Blueberry! Good morning, Strawberry! Hi, Raspberry! that fragrance? Oh, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that'd be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Thank you. <laughs> Morning, Orange. Morning, Strawberry. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Oh, uh, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pop cake. <laughs> there you are. Now please don't budge. I gotta get some sunflower seeds for orange.
flowers. Strawberry Shortcake, you are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows berry, berry fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm, very delicious too. <laughs> Thank you. But there's only one problem. <sighs> My berry bitty harvest is a bit more bountiful than I expected. Thank you. We've got to get these to Orange's General Store before they spoil. Wait till she sees these. She'll be so excited. I'll help you, Berry Can Bloom. Thimbles, check. Thread, check. Berries and bobbins, buttons and bows. Check and check, check and check. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, Orange. This is all I need. Alrighty then. And thank you for shopping at Orange's General Store. Where there's a place for everything and a thing for every place. Morning, Orange. Good morning, Barry Kinville. And what can I get for you today? I'll need three bolts, six nails, 12 pails, a bag of rags, a box of socks, and half a dozen wooden blocks. Got it. Oh, what kind of wood? Well, I hadn't really thought much about... I have pine, cherry, oak, mahogany, peach, apple, elm, ash, beech, hickory, ebony, cedar, poplar, maple, spruce, sycamore, teak, rosewood, rubberwood, cottonwood, walnut, and willow. Um... I'm having a special this week on willow. I'll take willow. Good choice. And will there be anything else? Got any sunflower seeds? Ooh, all out. But a fresh shipment is coming in today. Oh, Orange, I got your sunflower seeds. See? If we don't have it, we'll get it at Orange's General Store. The place where there's a place for everything and a thing for, um, every some place? <laughs> Good morning, Orange. Might you have room in your store for some delicious, nutritious, berry bitty fruits and vegetables? Fresh from my berry own bitty garden? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Of course. Bring it on. You know, this is a lot of stuff. Can I give you some help making room for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I can make room on my own. Well, okay, but if you need any help rearranging... Don't be silly, Strawberry. Organization is my specialty. Okay, bring it in! <laughs> now, Custard! <laughs> This is not a toy. <laughs> wow! Do you think the store
store with a thing for every place has too many things and not enough places? Looks like Orange could use our help. Every time I ask, she says she's got it under control. Psst. Do you want to see what under control looks like? Time, I reorganized all my potholders, alphabetized my spices, and now I'm sketching some designs for a bedroom makeover. Orange has got to be swamped. Too bad she won't let us help her. I know. I think she's sensitive about accepting help. She feels it's like admitting she failed. Did she ever come by for breakfast? Nope. I finally had to give away the stack of waffles I'd saved for her. <laughs> At least they didn't go to waste. <laughs> Poor Orange, she's got to be hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I'm bringing her a sandwich. Least I can do. See you, Lemon. Okay, later. <laughs> Galloping gooseberries. Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas. Who asked for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and Sandwich. Thanks, but I can't take a lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and... Right here, right here, right here! Just a bit busy. Wow, you really worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi! Those are for produce only. Oh, 
forget rhythm. Energy. You have to feel the music. to have a truly creative experience, nothing beats painting in a watercoloring book. <laughs> Extraordinary talent! You may want to enroll him in an advanced painting class. Vegetables look in these crates. Well, she's got it into her head that the mess came from her store, and if she doesn't clean it herself, we'll think she isn't good at running her store. It's not her fault. There isn't enough room for all this stuff in her store. Yeah, what you'd need is a whole other store. Hmm. I smell something. Uh, mangoes? No, an idea. Huh. Hi, Orange. Be right with you. Almost done here. Everything under control. Good, because I desperately need your help with something. What is it, Strawberry? What do you need? Um, it's kind of personal. Do you have five minutes for a cup of tea at the cafe? Um, well, sure, I guess. Um, I'll just close up for a few minutes. Great. Don't worry. I'll have you back in a flash. There. Back in a flash. I was saying, I need to ask you a favor. Anything. Well, I have this dream of... Custard? No! I said, that's not a toy! This... this dream of opening a side business. Yeah? How fun! Well, what kind of business? Well, that's the trouble. I have nothing to sell. Hmm. So that's where you come in. I was hoping you wouldn't mind if I sold Berrykin Bloom's next Berry Bitty Harvest in a sort of a um, produce marketplace. But only if you'd be willing to part with it. A marketplace? What a great idea! <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you doing this for me? Well, I'm, I'm doing it mostly because it would be fun for me. And fun for me, too! Not to have to run my store and sell all those fruits and veggies. I don't know why I didn't let you help me before. I'm so wiped out. Do you think the girls would mind helping me get my store cleaned up? Done! Oh, you are all so sweet! Thank you. You always help us, Orange. Why wouldn't we help you? Well, we all need to help Strawberry. Cause she's opening up a new marketplace! We're on it! <laughs> well, 
Looks great, everyone. I think that's enough for one day. I can take it from here. Thank you so much for helping me get started. You're welcome. Sure, no problem. Anytime. Strawberry. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Strawberry. Emergency. What is it, Berry Can Bloom? It's my new plant food that shrinks the fruits and veggies to our size. It also shrinks the time from seed to harvest. I've got a new crop coming in only two weeks. Oh, no! This marketplace has to be built in half the time! Girls, come back! Oh, I need your help! 